but on behalf of Nyeri County, yes. we are welcoming you back home. Yes. Long overlooked in parts of Africa, indigenous vegetables are now capturing attention for their nutritional and environmental benefits. Now, indigenous vegetables are in plenty filling shelves in supermarkets, a sure sign of the positive uptake. Seed companies are also breeding more of these traditional vegetables to meet the growing demand. On this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip Keitani visited a young couple in western Kenya and tells us how this vegetable has changed their lives. During the scramble of Africa in the 18th century, the African continent lost more than just land. The continent saw the influx of exotic commodities, and one of the precious gems that the continent had lost was its nutritious indigenous vegetables. After exotic vegetables flooded the continent, but after years of trial and error, the continent is gravitating back to its vegetables. Meet Zakias Kubasu and Elizabeth Nabomba, from Butula, Bungoma County, a young couple who have had a life-changing encounter with these traditional vegetables. This project, tulianza kwa sababu tulitaka kupunguza maitaji ya pesa. Ilikuwa inaenda kwa wingi sana. Sasa tukona tukianza kupanda mboga, wenda itatupunguza ile gharama ya kwenda sokoni kununua pesa zenye tulikuwa tunanunulia mboga angalau tunaweza fanyia the traditional vegetables are becoming a delicacy for many families in Kenya. These vegetables include spider plant, also popularly known as saga or saget, amarantha, also known as terere, black nightshade, also known as managu, and jutemalu, also known as mrenda, are taking their place in many Kenyan tables. Wai and eight ya ploti yangu siku kuwa napata returns zenye zilikuwa zinafaa zina kwa sababu kama mahindi ningepata a quarter bag then kwa skuma ingekuwa attacked na pest sasa returns haziko kuwa mzuri a few years ago, many of these plates will have been filled with staples such as coral greens or kills, which were introduced to African from Europe a little over a century ago. After a series of caves intervention and, and, and trainings, to kanza kupanda mboga tukintumia new technology, wanafanya mulching, wanapanda all local vegetables. Although these vegetables have been favored by some rural populations in Africa, they were largely ignored by seed companies and researchers. So they lag behind commercial crops in terms of productivity and sometimes quality. This is welcome news for agricultural researchers and nutritional experts who argue that indigenous vegetables have a lot of desirable traits, many of them rich in proteins, vitamins, iron, and other nutrients than popular non-native crops such as kills. Na kutoka kwa hiyo mboga all types of vegetables, pia kiafya wa meimprove kwa sababu 0 to 5 years watoto hoko na pata lishebora po kitambo. Scientists in Africa and elsewhere are now ramping up studies of indigenous vegetables to tap their health benefits and improve them through breeding experiments. They hope that such efforts can make traditional varieties even more popular with farmers and consumers. We have traditional vegetables because these are different types of nutrients that are in the area. The traditional African vegetable is making a comeback on most African tables because of its nutritional value, and it's very tasty. Philip Keitang, for the next frontier.